How you doing guys? I'm Carl Dean with American Real Estate Investments. I'm also the co-founder of American Managed Assets International Group and today I'm down here in beautiful Dallas, Texas to show you one of our most recently finished renovations. Now this home has been finished for about a week now and it's already under contract with an investor so I'm sure when you step inside you'll get a good feel as to why. Come on inside and let's take a look. Here I am in the foyer. As you can tell all of our hardware in the house is an oil well bronze. We don't use the gold, we don't use the satin nickel like a lot of the other companies. We prefer to pay a little bit more because we get a little bit better quality, not only in the renovation but also in the tenant. So that's a big factor for me. Uh, right here to your right we have our, what I would call it, I guess a family room. We obviously use nicer fixtures in the rooms that are kind of as soon as you walk in the door to give the house a better look, better appeal. Over here we have the dining room of course. Nice chandelier, also oil or bronze color. All the fixtures in the house match as far as the faucets, as far as the handles, uh, you know, carpet, two-tone paint, everything seems to kind of go together pretty well. Um, instead of using a flat bar, you can see down here, we prefer to have more of a turn and tuck kind of clean look to our carpet when it ends. The flat bar to me is a little bit dated. I like to stand out as much as I can from the other groups that are rehabbing houses down here. So we, we, we really like this product as far as the turn and tack. It's, it gives it a nice clean look. Here I am in the living room. Uh, usually our living rooms are pretty typical. We have a fireplace and we have a ceiling fan. And in every one there's obviously going to be an oil well bronze ceiling fan. Again, we paint the fireplaces inside with a hammer paint. It's a black paint. It's heat resistant. It just makes you give it a cleaner, better look. Also, you can see the paint lines in the house everywhere. I'm very, very critical on my guys about the paint lines. Everything has to be fresh, crisp, clean. I don't like any drips or any kind of different uh, you know, holes in the wall. I want to make sure the prep work is done properly. I'm very, very adamant about prep work being done properly and paint lines being very, very crisp. So, also, if you look down at the carpet, you'll notice we use the same carpet pretty much in all of our homes. Now, it's a tan carpet, but it's not just a tan plush carpet. It's more of a frisé, something I would put in my own home. So, and the reason we do this is because not only does it give our homes a better look, that are more appealing to a lot of clients, but also it has a lot of fleck in it, a lot of different dark browns and light browns. There's a lot of different shades to it. So when someone spills something on the carpet or a child drops something on the carpet, it's far less noticeable. Instead of having to tear the carpet out every single time we have a new tenant move in, we're able to actually clean the carpet and you can barely ever see any stains if there is any. So there's also a texture on all of these walls, if you'll notice. And the reason we do that is because people come in, they hang family portraits, they hang pictures, they put holes in the walls. And we do this to try to avoid having a professional mud crew come in between tenants. They could charge you $1,000 to come in and tape and mask all the holes. This helps it so it's easier for one guy who's a handyman who can come in and with his thumb he can either put mud or caulk in the hole, paint right over it, problem solved. Down the hall here we have our half bathroom. Again, all matching fixtures, matching towel bar, matching toilet paper holder, the whole nine. I mean, even as far as the faucet, which the faucet is definitely far more expensive than most people are using. It's, it's more of like a $60 faucet. I know a lot of guys are putting $20 faucets in some of their rentals. We want it to be crisp. We want it to be clean and uniform. We want people to want to rent this house. We want people who would even overpay to rent this house because it's such a nice home. We do that because we like to set the trend in the market. As far as the, uh, the thermostat here, you'll see it's a digital thermostat, but it's very, very simple to use. We do this because a lot of tenants will call us and have service calls for someone to come out and show them how to use a, a thermostat. And this is just things you learn, learn doing properties, obviously. So we make it as simple as possible, but it's also still a digital, clean looking thermostat. It's not something that's going to be janky, fall off the wall, or something that's not going to work. It's something that's very simple and easy to use. It avoids anybody having to call us and ask us how to use it. So here I am in the kitchen. Uh, this, this particular area right here can be used as another dining room, maybe for a small dining room table. Um, we have our back door here, again, oil well bronze fixtures. All of our backyards have privacy fences to make sure the tenants have a little bit of privacy. In case they have a dog, obviously we take pet deposits for those type of things, but you know, we don't not allow it. So another thing you'll notice is every single door in the entire house has a door stop. And we do that for a very clear reason, and that is so the door handles don't put holes in the walls that we later have to fix. Um, the floors and all of our bathrooms, foyers, and kitchens, you can see look like wood. They really look actually very, very appealing. This is a product that I've been praised for by many different groups. And the reason is, it looks so much like real wood. It has texture to it, but at the same time, it's vinyl plank. So you can run on it, you can have your dogs on it, you can do pretty much anything to it, and it's not gonna dent it, it's not gonna scratch it, it's not gonna do anything to harm it. You can even let water sit on it for days on end, and it's not gonna absorb it, because it's not an absorbent material, it's just simply vinyl. 
As far as our countertops, we like to do an epoxy coating on all of our countertops. We do this because it, it just looks cleaner, it looks newer, it looks more fresh. These countertops were actually not in bad shape at all. However, when I come into a house, I like everything to look as new as possible, as shiny as possible, as fresh as possible. So we make sure that we do this epoxy coating. It looks very, very good. Uh, it's also a very hard thing to do. I wouldn't have anybody in the world do it because you know, the fleck that's in it is very important that it's evenly spread and not gulped up in a lot of different areas. So it, it takes a, definitely a professional to do that job. As you can see, we also provide an entire appliance package for all of our units. It's all going to be new appliances, nothing's going to be used. It's all going to be uniform in color. Sometimes we use white, sometimes we use black. Depends on what color the cabinets are, whether we leave the cabinets, whether we stain the cabinets or not. And that's usually going to include a self-venting over-the-range microwave, as well as a range stove. And the range stove is either going to be electric or gas. We don't change the uh, utility, so we just kind of go with what's there. And you'll see also a Frigidaire dishwasher and an under-the-sink garbage disposal. That's a very important part of the rehab. Again, you'll also see that in the kitchen, you have to have your GFIs. Anywhere you're within six feet of water, you have to have a GFI protected plug. And that means if something pops, it shuts them all off instead of just having you get electrocuted. So obviously that's a code. Here I am in kind of the, uh, the split level of the house where we have the stairs that go upstairs. You have your garage right here, which is your back entry. We'll go into the garage in a second, but I wanted to show you the laundry room. The laundry room in this, this house is actually gigantic. And we always make sure that we switch out the valves, as you can see. We don't want any leaks. Again, we do everything we possibly can to switch out everything we can so we don't have anything that's going to leak or anything that's going to have a tenant call us because the last thing we want is an unhappy tenant. Here we are in the garage, and as you can see, like, unlike a lot of people, we go above and beyond once again. We make sure we paint all the garages, we make sure they have their GFIs in place, we make sure they have garage door openers for their clients, we make sure there's two garage door openers because if not, we're going to get a call and say they need another one. Um, behind you, you'll find the hot water tank. As you can see, everything is up to code. We have copper connections up top. We also have a pan underneath, which is recommended and required. We also have a drip light here for any moisture that may come out of the hot water tank, and it goes directly outside. As far as our panel here, our electrical panel, you can see we have our building inspection code approval here. It's very important to look for those type of things. You really could get yourself into some trouble if you do not have these inspection codes. And everything is labeled for the entire house. So if there's an issue with the tenant, something goes out, somebody plugs something in, it blows a breaker, they come out, they know exactly which breaker to flip to enable to fix the issue. Another thing I wanted to mention to you guys, we do a, a nice epoxy coating on all of our garage floors. And the reason is it obviously hides all the oil stains. We scrub the floor before we do the paint. We put on a very thick coat of epoxy flooring. It's battleship gray. It's pretty standard in a lot of nice homes where there's homeowners living in them. So we like to do that just to go above and beyond. And again, with the oil rubber on the light, you'll see even in the garage, we just try to make sure everything is uniform. So let's take a walk upstairs and I'll show you the rest. Alright guys, here we are in the upstairs family room. As you can see, this is a pretty large room. And again, matching fixtures everywhere we go. This is the room where I would say I would spend my mo the most of my time because I like to keep my downstairs clean for when my guests come over. If I have kids, I'd rather them play with their toys upstairs so it's not a, a messy house when maybe a guest walks in. So, very large room, set up very nice actually for either your TV here or your TV there, but I think that this is going to be a room where a lot of people will spend a lot of time with their family versus the downstairs living room because I feel like that's a little bit more for show, at least for myself. Here I am just off of the upstairs family room. As you can see, the second floor also has an additional HVAC and AC system upstairs that just heats and cools the upstairs. Again, we have another uh, door stop, different style. Inside, we have a very, very quiet HVAC system. Very clean looking HVAC system. If they're older than 10 years, we try to take them out just to make sure we don't have any issues. Let me take you into the bathroom. Here we are on the second floor main bathroom. As you can see, the shower insert has a lot of shelving on it. Makes it very convenient for a lot of tenants. Uh, as far as the fixtures, same thing. All oil rub bronze, both the fixtures here on the sink. The countertop is epoxy coated just like the kitchen. The floor is the exact same as the kitchen. Even the lights above the mirror here are also going to be the oil rub bronze color. Again, with the GFI, you need to make sure you always have your GFCIs in your bathrooms or anywhere there's water. That's a very important thing that you can fail a lot of inspection things for. All right, so now let's take you and show you some of the bedrooms. All right, guys, here we are in one of the bedrooms. Now, this home particularly has five bedrooms. Four of the bedrooms are up here on the second floor, and the master bedroom is going to be downstairs on the main floor. That's considered a split-level home. So 
I'll take you down there in a second, but just to go over what's in these bedrooms, very, very simple stuff. So you're gonna find an AC slash HVAC vent that's gonna be coming out of the ceiling, and that's because the unit is in the closet and then upstairs also in the attic. Each one of these bedrooms has a fair amount of closet space. They're not large walk-in closets, but they've got a good amount of closet space, double doors in each one of the rooms. Uh, you'll also notice that each one of the rooms all has door stops throughout, and we have smoke detectors in all of the rooms just for safety reasons. That's definitely a nice, nice thing to have as far as when your inspector comes through, so beware of that. Here we are in my favorite part of the house, which is the master bedroom. This bedroom particularly is 12 foot by 16 foot, which is great if you have a king size bed, which I do. So we also have the only bedroom in the house with a ceiling fan, which is also oil rub bronze, you guessed it. But my favorite part about this bedroom, of course, is the master bathroom and the master closet. Let's take a look. Here we are in the master bathroom. As you can see, we have a double sink here, which is great. Couples, they like their own space. We have a massive garden tub here, and also a stand-up shower. So you have the best of both worlds for both people. We also have a massive walk-in closet, which is a great thing when it comes to the millennial crowd. You know, millennials seem to be really running the market right now as far as tenants and corporate relocations and stuff. So this is a bathroom that really attracts a lot of great tenants. All right, guys, I want to say thanks for taking the time to watch this video on rehab quality. I hope you really learned a couple things, and I hope that it will help you make your investment decision the next time you go to invest in a property. You choose a company who really does above and beyond on the quality and are smart, educated investors themselves. Until next time, I'll see you.